We start off with further details that are emerging from Afghanistan, where the United States has launched another drone strike in Kabul earlier this, week, uh, early this evening. Quoting senior U.S. officials, reports suggesting that the target of the strike was a suicide bomber in a vehicle who was aiming to attack the Kabul airport. This is the second strike carried out by the U.S. forces in Afghanistan since an ISIS-K suicide bomber struck the Kabul airport on Thursday, the 26th of August. 13 U.S. troops and over 100 Afghan civilians were killed in that attack. Speaking to Reuters, one U.S. official said that the latest strike was carried out by an, an unmanned aircraft piloted from outside Afghanistan and that secondary explosions following the strike showed that the target had been carrying a substantial amount of explosive material. The video on your screen showing the vehicle targeted by the U.S. strike. Witness reports and videos emerging from the scene showed smoke rising from near the north gate of the Kabul airport. Officials said there have been no civilian casualties. The strike comes as earlier on Saturday, the U.S. President Joe Biden had said that the situation in Kabul was extremely dangerous and that his military chief had warned the president of a highly likely attack between Sunday and Monday. The U.S. officials had said that they were particularly concerned about the local affiliate of the Islamic State attacking the airport as American troops leave, in particular the threat from rockets and vehicle-borne explosives. And for more on these developments, we earlier spoke to Peter Quinn, a former U.S. Army major. Quinn is a former helicopter pilot, pilot and intelligence officer who served five tours in Afghanistan and was part of the Special Operations Advisor to 777, which is a special mission wing. Listen in to the perspectives that he shared. The whole chorus, the whole Khorasan initiative is very disturbing for Afghan self-determination. No matter who is trying to lead the country, no matter who is trying to form a sovereign state, uh, the ISIS-K, the Khorasan initiative, is no good for anyone in the area. It's not good for Iran. It's not good for Afghanistan. It's not good for Pakistan or India. Um, if anything, it will eliminate any opportunity, any hopes and dreams for a tripartite free trade zone between Pakistan, India, and Afghanistan one day. And this is crucial for interstate uh, cooperation and, uh, and for the future. There are very serious threat in the immediate sense because there is the potential for a civil war over the next three months in Afghanistan. And if that civil war occurs, then there can be no legitimate state, regardless of who is running the country. Um, and I think regardless if you're Taliban, Mujahideen, United States, uh, or any other faction in, the, in uh, Afghanistan, uh, to have a civil war means there is no sovereign state. And this is, this is something that nobody wants. We, we all want the opposite of that. Well, uh, I'm a private American citizen, so I will not speak on behalf of the U.S. government or the U.S. Army. But as a private American citizen, I will say, um, you know, the Biden administration had announced 48 hours ago, we are part, the United States is partners with the Taliban um, in terms of uh, cooperation and relationship. Uh, I think this airstrike is uh, a good thing. I, I think what you're seeing is uh, we're addressing, or the United States is addressing, uh, issues on the ground. Those uh, idiotic factions of extremist nature uh, that that wish to do Afghanistan harm, like ISIS K. Uh, this is a good. This is a good situation to see that airstrike. Um, you know, unlike ISIS in Iraq and Syria, uh, where the Obama administration took uh, many months, if not a year or two to uh, equip and react to it, you're seeing an immediate cooperation on the ground today. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.